Let's say you have a leader who has had several wives, has served the interests of a foreign power, is very good at blame shifting. Should that leader be as self-confident as David seems to be in the book of Samuel? Apparently. <laughs> um, I think, according to the standards of the time, having several wives was normative. And they weren't sequential, they were simultaneous. Um, <laughs> so as, as my friend Joseph Telushkin says, polygamy does exist in the Bible, it's just never successful. Um, so David does have many wives and very strained and interesting and complex relationships with women. David has the most complicated and most described relationships with women of any character in the Hebrew Bible. Um, Those qualities that can be negative um, in David are to some extent positive. One of the things that, that draws David out of the charge of simple narcissism is that he really listens. He pays attention. He pays attention to women over and over again. He listens to what they say and changes himself because of it. And that's not a characteristic of men in the ancient world or the modern one. Um, <laughs> that, that you can rely on. So his, I would say, next to his hubris, there's a self-effacement, and, and next to his charisma, there's also a receptivity. And yeah, in the, in the complex of his personality, um, you can understand why people might look at him sort of to draw a very different political figure, the way that at some point, I think it was Seward said about Lincoln, which is he's the best among us.